is good, everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. It is a very special and legendary day, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to announce the first collaboration custom figure batch between myself, MDT, and the boy, the man, Mac Decals. If you guys don't know who Mac Decals guys is, right there on the page right there. Let's go ahead and zoom in shot. Right there, you got the MD logo, Mac underscore decals on Instagram. Makes absolutely fantastic customs, as you guys will see. And not only that, you guys are all going to have a chance to buy any of these customs and put these customs in your own WWE action figure collections. You guys can see some of his work right here. Thank you for your order. That will go out to anybody who purchases a custom. But today, guys, we have batch number one of MDT and Mac. And I want to make this series a name. I want to have a series for it. Um, I don't know exactly what it's going to be called. But pretty much, you know, over the next, you know, uh, every month, we hope so, we're going to do a custom figure batch, one or two batches of custom that you guys are going to be able to purchase for yourselves often put them in your figure collections and let me just say this first batch is epic guys wait till you see this first batch it's absolutely immaculate and you guys are going to see that for yourselves but mac decals is an absolute beast love mac to death and that is why i wanted to work with him on this project before we get started guys i do want to give a huge shout out to g natty for the idea for like the little custom batch series you know he really started that and that kind of just put it in our brains and we were like yeah that you know what I, i've been thinking on the idea for a long long time and mac thought it was an excellent idea so here we are today ladies and gentlemen with the first batch and i'm excited guys so let's just shut the hell up get into the customs and we're gonna start off with probably the most beautiful one i i think it's it's very hard honestly but we're gonna start off with the survivor series 2019 seth freaking rollins in the chicago bulls attire ladies and gentlemen this figure is fan freaking tastic and we're gonna get in here you can see by the head sculpt we did use the 102 head sculpt it looks freaking beautiful. I don't know what it is, but on this figure, it makes the head sculpt look even better. You ever see that happen? Um, the, the vest is very highly detailed, guys. You got the Rollins going across the chest right there. You have the 23 for Jordan there. Going around the back, something that is unique is that it does not connect in the back. Obviously, I guess if you wanted to connect it, you could probably put some double-sided tape in there or something and seal that up if you really wanted to. But it is removable. You can easily remove it and, and all of that good stuff. You don't have to worry about anything like that. It's sealed up. It looks great. Um, this figure is just so saturated in real life. I don't know if it's coming across on the camera, but it is very saturated. It looks so beautiful and Mac absolutely destroyed this custom. Um, one thing that Mac does that nobody else I've ever seen does is he makes his wristbands and anything that goes on the arms of figures, he pretty much like makes them this rubber material. It's like elastic rubber bands so they're very realistic. You know, they're not painted on. They are decals over the top of these and uh, he actually makes custom Undisputed Era armbands and stuff like that out of this material. And he's actually in the phase of right now making custom Jeff Hardy sleeves, so uh, he could be branching onto something freaking ridiculous. <laughs> vomit. So right here, guys, you can see you got the SR logos right there. He could have easily put, you know, just the SummerSlam arms. He wanted to make his own custom arms, so they, they look great. It all looks fantastic. Down here, you have all of the red. You have all of the logo work going on, the beautiful looking kick pads. He didn't want to make it where the kick pads cut off, so he did put the AJ Styles uh, you know, similar style on there so that you don't have that cut right there that like Mattel does and, you know, kind of ruins the continuation of the graphics. But you guys can see right there, and then you have the belt logo on there. I'll take off the vest and in a second and I'll show it off at the end of the video when we do that but we have more customs to get through so I just want to put this out there this is the Survivor Series 2019 Seth Rollins that is on eBay right now for auction you definitely want to go get on this this is freaking beautiful so that is our first figure in the batch guys is Survivor Series 2019 Seth freaking Rollins Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have a custom Elite Matt Riddle. This is one of two Matt Riddles, and I guess I can bring them both in screen so you guys can decide which ones you want. But we have the red and black version with the original bro on there. And then we have, I think I like the pink one better just because it's MDT kind of. You know, it's got the lime green, it's got the blue, it's got the pink on it, and it looks great. He's got his mushroom tat on his ribs. He's got the basic 103 head sculpt on there, and it looks great. He's even got, you know, his anklet down here. And this is what the key part of the figure is, guys. Not only do you get logos all over it, but you also get the custom Nike slides on this man that are 
completely removable and you guys can see here I want to get a zoom in shot of this because I want you guys to see how sick this is and how good Mac is uh, zooming in guys you will see that we have these custom Nike slides right there made out of actual foam and the little piece right there I don't know what that's made of but you can see the Nike logo on there so if you get this figure or you get this other one you will get custom Nike sandals slash slides that I literally wore every single day of high school because you know I was an athlete and I wanted to be a lazy ass so you just throw the slides on you pass out in every class class, you get by and you get a degree. I mean, what do you say? But seriously though, the Nike slides are a beautiful touch and I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do that. I could be mistaken, but Max, the first one I saw do it. So he killed that guys. Again, you got the pink version and you have the red version. I personally like these slides better because they got the MDT going on. You know, they got the Nike slides on there in the pink. You got the cool colorways and graphics. So there are the two Matt Riddles. We got some bros in the house and they're going to go beautiful in your collection if you pick it up. I wish I freaking commissioned one of these Matt Riddles. Riddles. They're so beautiful. So we have Matt Riddle and Seth Rollins right there. You got two different Riddles you can bid on and you have the Seth Rollins. The next figure is another Survivor Series figure, guys, but it is the Ricochet from 2019 Survivor Series in the sort of like Nightwing Batman Beyond Ass attire. I don't really know what you would call this, but really cool looking. It kind of looks like Robin as well, but uh, you got the R right here for Ricochet. You got some graphics going on. Mac did a fantastic job on this. I think he took a Sin Cara figure from the lower and then he took a Dean Ambrose or Shield figure for the torso and then put all the graphics over it. You got the red gloves. You got all of this detail going on in here uh, with these decals. Uh, he, he did a great job applying it. That's that's what Mac does best. He coats it. He puts the decals on it and it looks so spectacular, man. He even got the one and only on there. Beautiful looking graphic. Red and white boots that are very saturated. They stand out very nicely. So uh, this Ricochet is looking great. You know, I'm not a big fan of the Ricochet when he wears the full body suits. I would prefer him just to wear the, the pants, but a lot of people love this and I would highly suggest if you guys love this, you would definitely want to add it to your collection. So it is on eBay. Again, all of these are up on eBay. You can go grab them, add them to your collection, but this is a ricochet we wanted to do. And also, I want to make it known, whatever figures you see, if you guys see something at the Royal Rumble you guys want, please let me know and we're going to put it in the next batch. So if you guys want to, you know, get a Seth Rollins or an AJ Styles or whatever from Royal Rumble 2020 coming this weekend, definitely hit us up. And then we're also going to have takeover for some different guys so definitely stay tuned for that so next up guys we do have one of my favorite wrestlers of all time we got jeff hardy in the house this throwback beautiful looking jeff hardy in the survivor series 2001 attire and it's very unique you guys know jeff hardy was always rocking the unique attire so you guys can see here we have this very unique head sculpt so basically we have this jeff hardy head and then he took i don't know if he sculpted this or if he took like another figure's hair piece but he's got the uh the ponytail that separates into three strands. I'm not sure if that's a Jericho hair piece or what, but he also has the hair tie in there in red. You got the custom hat with the Hardy Boys logo. He even added custom earrings to the figure. As you guys can see right there, he did put earrings into the figure right there with a little piece of metal and the, the beard is custom painted on. It even has the necklace. One thing I will say is that uh, I think this necklace is actually glued to the pendant right there, so you may not want to touch that. You don't want to break that off, but you know, the figure's fully articulated. You just don't want to, you know, move around that necklace. It does have the cloth mesh shirt. It even has the buckles and the D, uh, the details right here with the NYPD from 9-11 uh, because it was around that time. It was paying tribute to 9-11. You also have the mesh shirt and everything. And he even took it a step further, guys, with the belt right here where usually, uh, I think every Jeff Hardy figure we've gotten besides maybe the ringside exclusive had the studded belt. So he actually does have the right belt on there. It's the, you know, the holy belt instead of the studded belt. And he even painted the white stitches in and he even cut the mesh shirt. So it's all about the details with decals right there. Matte decals, that is. But uh, th this figure looks great. I, I really wish it was standing this collection. Like, having all these figures right in front of me, man, I just want to keep them all in my collection. But these are all for you guys. You guys need to go and grab them. Another great detail in this figure is the hair. You know, he's got all the, the blue, the purple, and the green all mixed together. His hair did look just like that on the night. So it's very detailed and accurate to the time. And I love the, uh, the paint detail he added to the pants. Really reminds me of the old Jax figures with the white detailing and the stitching. But this is not the last figure we have, guys. We have one more figure that is probably, I, I don't know, it's kind of hard. It's its very difficult for me to choose, honestly. I want you guys to comment down in the comment section below when we're all finished here, but
but we also have an NXT TakeOver Toronto Johnny Football Wrestling Baseball Basketball Wrestling Football Johnny right here in the flesh. Look at this beautiful Wolverine attire that Mac Decals did. You have the custom vest right here with the slashes. It is removable and unlike the Seth Rollins one, you can't actually take this off. It does connect in the back if you wanted to, you know, do all that. You also have the details on the wrist with the three claws that Johnny Gargano was wearing in honor of Wolverine. NXT graphic here. You have all of the stuff going down into the knee pads. All the logos are here. Very unique detail right here on the back. I love how he did the circular stuff. I don't even know what the hell that is, but uh, it's not coming off and it looks very deep. I don't know if that's paper. I think it's the same thing he used for maybe Jeff Hardy's uh, necklace or uh, what he used for the sandals. I'm not sure, but uh, it looks just like Johnny Gargano's kick pads, how he has the little circular things there. They're not coming off. Very beautiful and uh, just, just an immaculate figure. I, I don't know which one I would choose. It To me, in my honest opinion, I feel like it's down to Gargano or Rollins for the best figure in the set, but they're all beautiful. They're all one of a kind and they're all just fantastic. So you guys definitely want to get all these. Links in the description. You can go follow Mac. You can go get on the eBay auctions. If you can't find it or whatever, you just search Seller MDT Elite Store. It will pop up. All the customs should be there. Um, I also want to go ahead and take off the vest of Rollins and Gargano so you guys can see what the, you know, the details of the trunks look like because these figures are just too perfect. All right, guys, so here is Johnny Football right there, and just, I love the way these trunks look. I, I just think that the color palette of Wolverine is so beautiful. That's I, I think that's what makes it so good. But you have all of that detail going on with the blue, the red, the black, and the yellow is just such good contrast. Then you have the Johnny Wrestling there in the Wolverine font, so that, that is perfect, man. That is freaking excellent. Now we're going to take a look at Rollins. And here is Rollins without his vest, and I think Mac did an excellent job again on the belt decals right there. He always does an excellent job. He custom makes all of his decals, so they're so clean. They're applied perfectly. You ain't got to worry about them rubbing off and farting on your mom and her sleep, man. They really nail it. Mac nails it, and so you guys definitely need to follow him. Check out those eBay auctions and uh, get in on all these figures. Again, all the links are in the description. You can go grab all these. I love the vests. All the vests are immaculate. I freaking love it. Again, the saturation on these customs is beautiful. I think we got a wonderful color palette going, but stay tuned for the Royal Rumble this weekend, guys, because we are going to be looking at Rollins, looking at Styles, looking at, you know, what attires and what customs we want to make for batch number two. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the first custom batch. Also, let me know a cool name for this series down in the comment section, because I don't know what the hell to call it. I feel like since my name's MDT and his name is MD, I feel like we can come up with some bullshit like that. I don't know. But right here, again, guys, Mac underscore decals on Instagram. Also, link in the description to his IG. Link in the description for the eBay page to go grab these wonderful customs. But that is going to do it for today's custom batch, guys. Thank you so very much. Again, go check it out. Follow Mac decals. Follow myself at MyDamnToys on Twitter as well. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter like I just said again. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Johnny Baseball. Basketball, football, wrestling.